The France has charged the Telegram founder Pavel Durov with a litany of violations related to the messaging app and has banned him from leaving the country mm. while allowing the billionaire to walk free after four days of being under arrest. Now, a French judge put Pavel Durov under formal investigation, granting conditional release against a bail of 5 million euros. And on that condition, he must report to a police station twice a week, remaining while he's remaining in France. Now, following a hearing with the investigating magistrates in Paris, 39-year-old Durov has been charged on several counts of failing to curb extremist and illegal content on the popular messaging app. He's also been charged with refusing to share documents demanded by the authorities, dissemination in an organized group of images of minors in child pornography, as well as drug trafficking, fraud and money laundering. And his lawyer has said that it is absurd to suggest that Pavel Durov could be implicated in any crime that is committed on the app, adding that Telegram complies in all respects with European rules concerning digital technology. And finally, I'd like to add that it's totally absurd to think that the head of a social network could be involved in criminal acts that don't concern him either directly or indirectly. Meanwhile, the Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova has declared that the arrest of the Telegram founder has caused a shock throughout the world. This story is not only about Russia's reaction. We reacted as Russian diplomats were obliged to react in this case, when it was about the detention of a Russian citizen. But it seems to me that, well, it would not be an exaggeration to say that the whole world experienced a greater shock than ever before from the actions of representatives of the collective West. Now, separately, Durov is also reportedly being investigated on suspicion of serious acts of violence towards one of his children. While he and the boy's mother, Durov's ex-partner, were in Paris, she filed another complaint against Durov in Switzerland last year. The Russian-born Pavel Durov was arrested in Paris late Saturday and was questioned in subsequent days under arrest by the investigators. Now, he's being placed under formal investigation in France. It does not imply guilt or necessarily lead to trial. Investigations can in fact last for years before he could be sent to trial or the trial is shelved altogether. Meanwhile, amidst this draft, the United Arab Emirates has reportedly suspended a deal with France for the supply of 80 Rafale fighter jets. The United Arab Emirates has been closely following the case of Pavel Durov, who also happens to be an Emirati citizen besides also being a French citizen. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.